Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe down below, give this video a like, and we'll get right on into the video. So it's Saturday. <clears throat> Sorry. So it's Saturday and usually if I were going to Brett's I would already be there by now But we decided last night I would just stay here because him and his friends were going to do something that they didn't end up doing So it doesn't really matter, but I'm going up to Brett's today now So I wanted to get ready so I thought I would bring you guys along to get ready for that And I'm having this dilemma on where I want to use my new microphone I even have it mounted up here so it looks like it should be working But I can't find the cord anywhere And that's totally my fault like, like, I have no idea where I put it. I remember seeing it and putting it somewhere so I wouldn't forget where I put it, and now I forgot, so. That really sucks. I like checked my car, I checked my purse. I don't really know where else to check, but anyways, while I was doing that, I found a bunch of change, and I asked you guys on Instagram how to save money, or how you guys save money, or tips on saving money, and a lot of people said a coin jar, and I kind of totally forgot that I already had one, and when I was searching for that wire, I found a bunch of coins. So I'm just gonna put those in there and I think I'm gonna start using cash I'm gonna give myself like a cash late allowance So once that's gone, it's gone and I can't like get more unless it's like a super neat or anything of course But just so I spend less and then any change that I get from it I can put in here as well. So trying to save money for a wedding. They're not cheap I think I'm gonna take a bath to fix whatever is going on here and then we can get on with the rest of the day of getting ready to go see Brett. Almost $22. So I'm so sorry about the sound of my bathroom. I wish I could turn that fan off so bad and I wish I could fix it. And I mean, a microphone would probably help, but I'm so mad at myself because I have no idea where the wire is and that's so not like me. I'm going to use my last bath bomb, which these are actually from a coworker. He sent them to me for helping on a project that like kind of wasn't my responsibility, but I still helped them, so that's pretty cool. And it's just green and it says stress relief, which is pretty accurate to how life is right now. So I'm gonna use this and shave my legs cause it's nice and warm out so I wanna wear shorts or a skirt or a dress or something. So I'm gonna shave and get all clean and feel better and hopefully a little less stressed by the end. So I look the most mom I've probably ever looked. I'm just gonna do the dishes and I'm gonna change and I will see you guys once I look a bit more presentable. So I look a little bit more presentable, still in the robe. It's just like nice and clean and I wanna keep it on. But I wanted to show you guys that I wanted to wear this dress today. I had it in like my, my springtime thrift haul and it's supposed to be like 80 degrees today. So I thought this dress would be nice, but as you can see, it's kind of wrinkly. So, oh, that's my tripod. So I just wanted to say if you don't own one of these, it's like a handheld steamer. Like a lot of people travel with them and stuff. Mine is by Conair, but I just bought it off of Facebook Marketplace, not gonna lie. And as you can see, it's on because there's steam coming out of it. And this makes getting wrinkles out of your clothes so fast and so easy. And I highly recommend for anyone that doesn't put their laundry away as fast as possible. And then everything is wrinkly. <laughs> But I'll link one down below for you guys that's really similar because look at all the wrinkles and how they're like gone now. So make sure to check that out if you don't own one because you definitely should. They are a lifesaver. So there's my outfit for today and it's all steamed so it's all nice and flowy. And I got it from the thrift store, Shocker. And it has this little detail cut out and then it's like scrunched right here. And I think it's so nice and cute and perfect for like the end of spring. So now I am much more presentable. I did my skincare, my hair is all dry and curly. I wanted to give a little update on that native shampoo that I showed a few vlogs back. It was like a vlog about Target or something. So if you wanna know what I'm talking about, it's in there, but 
I've been using the native shampoo and conditioner for a while and I would say that I really like it I think it's not too heavy on my hair and it brings out the natural texture in it a lot So I would say I'm a big fan of their shampoos and I would like to try their other kinds But I decided against doing makeup today. I figured I could just let my skin breathe and it looks pretty good I mean, I have a few areas, but whatever so I'm all packed up ready to go and I'm gonna head up to Brett's I fed Nyx cleaned her litter did all that fun stuff and I packed up my skincare and clothes I don't really think I'm gonna wear makeup I never really do up there and I also packed up my book and my laptop because I'm gonna edit and read so yeah let's go so I'm in Syracuse. I'm actually at Guitar Center. I stopped here because Brett came here with his roommate JP to get a microphone because they're about to record a song today. So I just stopped in to say hi and now I'm gonna head to Plato's because I'm looking for a pair of sunglasses. I feel like I have to get a new pair of sunglasses every summer because I either lose them, scratch them, break them, something happens to them. So I wanna get a new pair. On the way here, I listened to Olivia Rodrigo's new album and holy shit. I like cried. I had full body chills for multiple songs. I just could feel the hurt and the pain that she was feeling when she wrote these songs. I can relate to those things because of my past and things that have happened in the past. Like if that album came out in high school, it would have been like cry city for me. But I think it's such a good album. One of my favorite songs is still good for you because it reminds me of like Paramore and like pop punk. But her song Traitor, that like gave me full body chills. Her song One Step Forward, Three Steps Back gave me full body chills. And her song Enough For You gave me full body chills. Hope You're Okay. Oh, they're all like so crazy good. And I can't believe for her age, how she's able to articulate her feelings and put them into such eloquent words. It's just insane to me, but definitely go check out her album. It's called Sour if you haven't heard of it I don't know how you wouldn't have heard of it by now But definitely go check it out and I will see you guys once we're at Play-Doh's and trying to find sunglasses <laughs> So I'm done at Play-Doh's and I only ended up getting two things. I tried on so many dresses and I don't know what was going on, but I didn't feel good in like any of them. So I only got two things. One is these sunglasses. They were like six bucks and I thought the pattern was cute and I like silver. So I thought they were cute for the summer and they're cheap. So if anything happens to them, I don't really care. And then I got the jumpsuit that I tried on. There will be like a clip that you guys have already seen of it, but I love the pattern. That's why I got it. And it was long enough on me and the back is like crossed just like the front. So I really liked it. And it's by the brand Band of Gypsies, which I've definitely heard of before. And I know it's like a nicer brand. Explains why it was like 20 bucks. But when you think about it, it's like $20 for an outfit. So it's like $10 for a top, $10 for a bottom. But since it's only one piece, it's like the same price, right? Is that how it works? That's how I put it in my mind, I guess. But now I'm gonna head to Brett's. I think they're still recording, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do there, but see where the day takes us. So I'm back on my phone for just like a second. I left my camera inside, but they're still recording the drum track and everything. So I was like, I'll just go up to Brett's room and read. And then I realized it's like 80 or 90 degrees out today. I should read outside. So I'm outside on this red blanket. And I'm just gonna chill and read my book. I'm getting to like, uh, really exciting part so time to read and just relax and enjoy the nice day
Good morning. Good morning. We are at a new diner that we've never been to. It's called Brewer Union Cafe, if you're ever in the area. I've never tried it yet, but I saw it on a food Instagram, so I wanted to try it. Are you excited? Um, yeah. I might get pancakes. We're gonna get some breakfast. We kind of just had a chill night hanging out with friends because it's graduation weekend. Technically, Brett's graduating today, but he's not going. <laughs> it's graduation weekend. We're gonna celebrate our own way by <laughs> getting breakfast, I guess. And we drove like outside of the city. I guess we'll just go inside and eat. <laughs> Let's do it. That was like, just incredible. Like, <laughs> Hurry up and record so I can eat. <laughs> so Brett's currently driving now, but we just had breakfast and it was so good. Like this was a whole different type of cafe than I'm like used to around here. Brett just saw his dream car right now, which is a Ford Expedition. But it was so good. Brett got these peanut butter and banana pancakes and peanut butter and banana. That peanut is not what jelly. I meant. Peanut butter and jelly pancakes. And they were made out of quinoa and had almond butter on top and had pistachios crushed on top and had like strawberries and blueberries. And it was just like a whole different kind of pancake. It almost had the texture of cornbread, but it was very, very good. You liked it, right? Very good, yeah. And then I got this like type of toast and it was like toast and it had like hummus and it had eggs and it had pesto and it had tomatoes. I don't even know what else was on there, but so, so good. And now we're on our way to get coffee because every time we get breakfast, we get coffee because breakfast places don't generally have like fancy or like really good coffee. They just have like a pot of coffee, which has its moment, but we are coffee fans and coffee drinkers. So we want something a little bit stronger. <laughs> so we're on our way to that and it's called Cafe Bing. Like Chandler Bing. So we're at Cafe Bang. We're about to go inside. It's right there. We also saw this popcorn shop and then look at the sign in the window. It's popcorn and CBD. What more could you want? Something with substance. Anything but popcorn really. Yeah, popcorn's actually not my favorite. Not a big popcorn fan over here. But they have CBD, which is bigger than the popcorn sign. So let's get some coffee. Coffee time! So we got our coffee and stuff. Sorry I didn't show you guys the inside. There were like a lot of people and I don't know. Vlogging in public's still kind of hard and weird, but. I got a caramel cheesecake flavored iced latte with oat milk. Not just caramel, made it a little more interesting. Maple cappuccino, which is really good. Yeah, Brett's is better than mine, I think. And then we got this almond, what is it? Almond, gluten-free almond bake. So we're gonna try that out. Take try a bite. It's good. It looks like cornbread. I don't like cornbread. What's corn with the bread. cornbread vibes today? Is it like cornbread? Yeah, it's a lot like cornbread. I don't like cornbread. You don't like it? Alright, more for me. It's alright. It's really good. Okay, so we're just gonna go home and I'm probably actually gonna edit this video because I'm such a procrastinator and it's like 1 p.m. and it's Sunday and I don't have this done yet, so. I gotta do some homework anyway, so. Yep, so I'll probably just end the vlog here then. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Peace. Make sure to subscribe down below to keep up with me and my vlogs and my videos and anything else I post in the future. And comment down below what your go-to coffee order is right now because mine is always a nice latte with oat milk and caramel. Yours? You don't really have one. I don't really have one. A breve. A breve is great. So let me know down below what you guys usually get. And I will see you guys in the next one, which should be on Thursday. Bye.